Hey everybody, welcome to In the Red Zone. Sean Brown, Michael Johnson here, and we are in week 14 of college football. We only have like three weeks total to go, yeah. including conference championship games. So coming down to the wire, and the biggest news of the week was the Big Ten because Ohio State's game was canceled with Illinois. Because of COVID, Ryan Day won't be back next week or this week with Michigan State if they even play the game. And because that's two games now canceled for Ohio State, one more, they don't make the Big Ten championship game. Yeah. And right now, I don't know if they make the playoffs. I mean, we'll have to wait and see what the playoff committee has to say about it. But, uh, you know, now they're down to, what, six games? Yeah. I mean, Playing just... six games. So, I I don't know. When everybody else is getting all their games in, I don't, I don't know how you put Ohio State in. But anyway, that, that, that was the big news. Well, and this, the... Was the, this was the thing. I mean, they, they canceled prematurely. Mm-hmm. They canceled their season. Um, off of one paper that was, I mean, we, I won't get into that. Yeah. Anyway, um, you know, they, so they cancel the season and then this is the, this is the repercussions from That's doing right. that. Yep. And then now everybody else, uh, you know, Big 12, SEC, ACC, keep going with the season. And now this, this is what you're having to deal with because yeah. of it. Yeah. I mean, they shouldn't have drugged their feet. They should have done their due diligence. Um, I know that they were thinking about the health and safety of these student athletes, but um, you'd think some medical professionals could have done some more research well, into this issue. Big 12, Pac-12 stand together. They did it, and I think they thought everybody was going to follow suit, yeah. and there wouldn't be a season, and it backfired on them. But yeah. uh, Pac-12, Oregon gets upset by Oregon State, um, and that essentially knocks Pac-12 out of the playoffs yeah. uh, because – I know USC is sitting there undefeated, but I mean to jump to go from twenty to try to rise up into the top four yeah. with the other teams that are up there, I mean, and you never know. I mean, I'm sitting here looking at OU, and I'm like, I mean, is there a chance? I mean, there's just so much happens, so many cancellations of games that yeah. if if Ohio State, you know, misses another game, they yeah, drop. But, you know, if but an, that's that. There's a lot of teams they would have to jump to get to four. I'm just saying, like I mean, it, it's. There's a lot of movement that could be happening within yeah. these next couple of weeks that we just we just don't know until we yeah. play these weeks out and see what happens. I mean, the amount of games that I mean, COVID could ravage any program it at could. this point. Yeah, just it could. just completely take over and. Well, this, I mean, and OU lost their game with West Virginia, so yeah, I mean, it's that will be replayed. Yeah, yeah hopefully. See, yeah. they built in uh, bye weeks. I mean, they, because they didn't cancel, they yeah. were able to, and they only had one out of conference uh, game scheduled. They were able to have some wiggle room if they needed to. So, yep. they rescheduled that game. It is not canceled, um, and we'll see what happens okay. there. We got a lot of games this week, yeah. 20, like 28 games. So let's just get into the picks. We're not and and you know you guys saw what happened last week, so you know we don't have to I guess go over it any more than yeah. that. So uh, okay, so let's get started with uh, the first game this week. Uh, graphics are back. You guys seem to really like that, so I put the effort into making them again this week. Uh, it is a lot of work, but I'm glad you guys like it. So, so thank this man. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so all right, so these are pretty much opening numbers. Uh, again, we shoot Sunday night, so things will move during the week. Um, so just a heads up. But Louisiana against App State. App State is a three-point favorite. Uh, by the way, I'm going to mention I'm not putting any rankings in because they're going to change after the new yeah. playoff committee comes out. So this is the time of year where you're not going to see rankings on the screen, and that's just I'm leaving well, it on purpose. And two, the AP and the CFP do not match up. No, I mean, not even close. So I just yeah. leave it, leave them off. So. Um, yeah. Anyway, Louisiana uh, at App State. App State is a three-point favorite. Um, I, I don't. I don't want to go against Louisiana. I, I think Louisiana um, wins the game outright, so I'll take Louisiana. Yeah. Well, that would be the first time they've ever done it. Uh, Louisiana's never won this game uh, in the eight times that they've played. This is a rescheduled game mm-hmm. uh, from earlier in the season that was postponed, um, and this game is also never been decided by less than seven points. So Louisiana has never been within seven points of App State. I'm yeah. going to take App State. Okay. I know Louisiana's better, but App State, I picked against them, and they surprised me uh, two weeks ago, I think. So okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take App State. Okay. Next one is Washington State at USC. USC is a 14-point favorite. Um, USC has kind of found their footing. They're playing a lot better. This is a home game for them. 
Um, I would think that they would cover the 14. Um, I think they would cover it somewhat easy. They should. Yeah. But that being said, my gut tells me that they don't, and this becomes a closer game than what people think it's going to be. So I'll take Washington State in the points. Yeah. Um, I think he's in order. Um, what did I see earlier? Um, Washington State, you know, they've only had two games so far, Oregon and or Oregon State. Um, they're giving up 35 points a game, scoring 33. Uh, USC's defense is going to be better um, than Washington State's. Uh, they have kind of found something on offense to be able to score some points. I'm going to take USC. I just, um, the last couple of weeks, I know they had the, you know, they didn't cover against Arizona um, or Arizona State, but this last week against Utah, who's rebuilding, um, they they won 33-17. to 17. They kind of turned it on there in that game, so... I'm going to take USC. Okay. Next game up is Boise State, 26 and a half point favor at UNLV. I will take Boise State because UNLV is not that great. And Boise State is a pretty darn good football team that is, manages to score points. Um, yeah, BYU. Yeah. Or Boise State, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm taking Boise State as well, um, the other Mormon team. Um, UNLV is 0 and 5 at this point. They're, they're allowing almost double or more than double or just about double the amount of points that they're scoring. And Boise State's scoring 40 points a game. Uh, they're giving up almost 30, so you don't really want to see that on defense. But, um, I mean, UNL, UNLV is just getting smoked every game. I mean, they, you yeah. look down, their games that they've played, all five of them um, have pretty much been blowouts. So, uh Give me Boise State for sure. Okay. I mean, maybe by 30 or 40. All right, next game is Baylor at Oklahoma. Oklahoma, 21.5 point favorite. I don't expect this game to get played. I expect it to get canceled. Um, OU had to halt all football team activities. Uh, the basketball game got moved and rescheduled. The women's basketball is having an issue. There's just a huge COVID issue on campus in general along among the athletes. And I don't think they play this game. But for the purpose of the pick, if they do play, I will take Oklahoma to cover 21 yeah. half. The time was released today. Um, that's a 7 o'clock game on Fox. Um, I'm going to take Oklahoma. I think that they have found their footing offensively and defensively. Charlie Brewer has just completely disappointed this year. Um, I don't think he's – he just maybe doesn't have the weapons that he yeah. he did in Denzel Mims. Coaching matters too. Yeah, that's the true. System and yeah. all that. And, yeah, and Matt Rule difference. did a phenomenal job there. Um, even made their defense really good. But um, I just don't see them having uh, enough to to be able to, to keep up with Oklahoma in this game. Yep. I It's scheduled at, at this point. Um, people inside the program seem to think that this game is going to be played this week. Um, so I, I don't know what, you know, I, I don't know what position group it was that, um, that was hit well, hard, but you know, their, their main doctor at OU is Dr. Bratzler. And I, I just call him Dr. Death. The guy's so pessimistic. He, he's, you know, everything's doom and gloom all the time. Um, so anyway, yeah, they're optimistic. I'm not, but we'll just have to wait and see, right? Yeah. I, I was going to try to see if, if on my insider deal if if I could see you know if they had any information but we'll move on all right next game Oklahoma State is a one and a half point favorite at TCU um, I've kind of been picking against the Cowboys at times this year and I've lost um, I I just I, I TCU is not where they normally are they're not a top, one of the top teams in the Big 12 this year um, I think Oklahoma State goes down there and covers one and a half. Yeah. Um, yeah, looking at that one. One and a half. Um, you know, it's not a it's not a super far trip for them. Right. Um, Three hour drive. Yeah. TCU did get a win against Kansas, but who hasn't? Mm -hmm. um, they did lose to West Virginia two weeks ago. Um, 24 to six, they beat Texas Tech. They beat Baylor, so they're they're beating the teams that they should at this point mm -hmm. as a as kind of a mid. I, I would say they're right there in the middle of the the Big 12. Um, you know, after losing 
pretty handily to, to OU. And then Oklahoma State, you know, they, they looked like they were going to just run away with it against Texas Tech this last week. And then Texas Tech manages to yep. turn it on in the second half and make a game of it. Um, yep. But I will take Oklahoma State. Uh, I, I just think offensively, um, if they can – now, Gary Patterson's teams defensively usually are pretty disciplined. Um, they they can turn the ball over uh, quite a bit, um, usually his because he's a defensive mind. So, um, But I'll take Oklahoma State. I mean, one okay. and a half seems, if it moved anymore, I don't know. I, okay. I would, I'm comfortable at that one and a half. Okay. Ohio State, if they play, a 21 and a half point favorite at Michigan State. Michigan State coming off the... Uh, upset of Northwestern. I mean, Northwestern kind of goes out there. They beat Wisconsin. They're in the driver's seat, and then they just, I don't know what happened. I, I just don't get it. But, um, but Michigan State comes out with the win. This week they get Ohio State, 21 and a half. I mean, you're not going to have Ryan Day as a coach. Um, probably going to be without a lot of other players as well. Might be some depth issue for the Buckeyes. Yeah. Um, I think that if they weren't having the COVID issues, this might be closer to 31 as a spread. So um, I am going to hesitantly take Ohio State to cover the 21 and a half. Yeah, this one's a, Michigan State's just been up and down. You know, you don't know who's gonna show up. Um, is it gonna be the team that lost 49 to seven against Iowa? Is it gonna be the team that beat Northwestern? Um, or the team that lost to Rutgers. Uh, the yeah. Big Ten is just a mess this year. I yeah. mean, um, it's just a lot of things that, that we thought going into the season just are, are not there. Um, but I think I think with, with the fact that um, Ohio State, you know, they, they need to beat teams pretty bad. I yeah. mean, if they're only going to get six games, they need to show the committee, um, hey, we're one of the best teams in the country. Um, and, and so I don't think there's any games that they'll, you know, they've had the two weeks off. I don't know where they were in, in canceling practice or anything, shutting down they facilities. They shut down everything. Okay. So, so uh, I mean, that's why I'm kind of hesitant. I don't really know but, if this will get played. Yeah, but with those, you know, the team still, that you got to think, they still have ways to work out, still maybe do virtual team meetings and um, things of that sort. So I'm going to take Ohio State. Um Okay. But this one could surprise us. Yep. Okay, next one. Syracuse is at Notre Dame. Notre Dame is a 33-point favorite. Notre Dame has been looking good lately. They've just yeah. kind of been on a roll. Um, they beat, what, North Carolina this past yes. week? They beat North Carolina. They're going to beat Syracuse. The just question yeah. is 33, to me, feels a little high. Syracuse last week, surprisingly, kept it close with uh, NC State. NC State. Um, I, I think 33 is too much. I'll, I'm going to take Syracuse and the points in this one. Hmm. Hmm. Um, yeah, it seems like the last few weeks, but here's the thing. Notre Dame's played Clemson, Boston College, um, and UNC, so, so not really a, a cakewalk of a schedule the last three weeks. Um, you know, UNC, I, I believe they did cover against UNC by maybe two points. Yeah. Um, and then Boston College kind of, you know, they scored 31 on them. Um, and then that double overtime win against Clemson. Yeah. Oh, could this be a, a game where they, you know, relax a little bit and think, hey, you know, it's Syracuse. We don't need to go full throttle. Um, they've got at Wake Forest next and, and then uh, an ACC championship game if, yep. if that gets played. So... Um, I'm going to take Notre Dame. I'll stick with it. Okay. Um, you know, two more weeks to go. Okay. It's getting close to the end. All right. Next one. Clemson is a 21 and a half point favorite at Virginia Tech. I'll take Clemson. Trevor Lawrence is back. I, um, I, it's just hard to go against them. Virginia Tech has some offense, but I think Clemson, some, some issues they've had get turned around on defense. Yeah. Um, and I, I don't know, 21 and a half seems pretty easy for them. Yeah, um, Virginia Tech's last three weeks haven't been pretty, but they stayed in a game with Liberty. Um, they, they lost by a point to Miami, um, and then they just got stomped by Pitt, um, 
which Clemson went in at home, beat Pitt fifty-two to seventeen. Um, that's the last game yep. that each. That's the last team that each each team has played. So I'm going to take Clemson. I think that they um, they're on a roll offensively, and and they might have the the best overall of offense um, in the country at this point. Okay, next one, Texas A&M is a six-point favorite at Auburn. Auburn coming off, I mean, they speared and buried the War Eagle. Alabama just absolutely just throttled Auburn. So can they bounce back? Because now they get Texas A&M, who's not as good as Alabama, but they're yeah. still a pretty good football team. Yeah. I think A&M covers six easy. Yeah, I, I do too. Um, the problem is with A&M this last week, like wh what was that? Um, they, yeah. they just couldn't pull away in that game against LSU, which LSU is probably going to lose, uh, or, or end the year on, with a losing record. Yeah. Um, they've got two pretty tough, uh, games left after the, uh, this well, week. Well, so. we've seen that Texas A&M is a little suspect on defense. Yeah. They've got holes on defense. Um, and LSU has an offense. Offense has not been LSU's problem this year. It's been their defense. Yeah. It's been horrific. Um, so, I don't know. Auburn, the, the, on the flip side of that, you know, Bo Nix is not an answer for them at quarterback. Yeah. He's just not. And their their offense sputters at times. They they'll get twenty points. They might get thirty at some point. But they're they're not a high scoring team. And their defense is not near what it's been the past few years. Yeah. So I just think that this isn't even going to be much of a game, in my opinion. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I'll stick with Texas A&M. Okay. Florida is a 16.5 point favorite at Tennessee. Uh, I'll stick with Florida. I'm taking Florida as well. Tennessee is just, they're buried. Yeah. Okay. Next one, <laughs> North, a Northwestern, a 10.5 point favorite at Minnesota. I know Northwestern just dropped that game to Michigan State. I think they bounced back. Yeah. Um, Peyton Ramsey, he was the <clears throat> former Indiana quarterback that transferred. You know, he, he's a good quarterback. Um, the offense can get points on the board, and that Northwestern defense generally is really good. And I don't know what was up with last week, but um, maybe they had some guys out or something like that. But um, Minnesota is just, yeah. I mean, they're sunk. Well, they lost, they their, they lost their best player. Rashad Bateman yeah. uh, decided to opt out and, and prepare for the draft. Um, I just I don't think that they have a prayer this week. Okay. Uh, Vanderbilt. Is at Georgia and Georgia is a 33 and a half point favorite. Um, I'll I'll take Georgia to cover that. I don't like it. I don't like this game at all. I wouldn't put any money on this game just because it's kind of a high spread and you don't know what you get with Georgia. Yeah. Um, you know they. Well, they, they've got J T Daniels now. Yeah. Um, I'll take Georgia. Yeah. I I can't find it here. Um, oh, here we go. Um, this last week, Vanderbilt, they lost 41 to nothing to, to Missouri. Yeah. Um, which Missouri plays really well at yeah, home. they do. Um, Georgia, the last couple weeks, you know, they, they beat Mississippi State, which you would like to see them win by more against Mississippi State um, than just a touchdown. But then they went out to, to South Carolina and they took care of business and I think they found something with JT Daniels and I, yeah. I you know, Vanderbilt, 0 and 8 team. Um, they're yeah. just, they're not great. Yep. So you got, I got Georgia. Georgia. Yeah. Okay. Next one, West Virginia is at Iowa State and West, or Iowa State, sorry, is a seven point favorite in this one. I've been going back and forth and back and forth with this one. Um, but, you know, I'm going to take West Virginia and the points. Because I think Iowa State wins this by like a point or three points. And I think it's a closer game than what people are expecting. Iowa State hasn't been blowing anybody out. They've, their games have been fairly close. Um, I don't know. I think I just think I like West Virginia's offense to be able to keep this close. Yeah, they blew out uh, Kansas State 45 to nothing. Um, well, both Kansas teams, they beat Kansas 52 to 22, which you got to think if, yeah. if Kansas could score 22 on you, yeah. How could Kansas State not score a point? Yeah. And I know they've had issues with their quarterback. Um, we'll talk about that when we pick that game. But, but the Texas game was, I mean, I just expect Iowa State to be that be Hey, better. Texas isn't, I mean, they're, they're not just a rollover team. Yeah. Sam Ellinger has shown um, he's going to play hard. I mean, it, 
We mm-hmm. we say this all the time, but he's like a a, a Tebow two point yeah. Like he's he's a a big quarterback. He's not the best thrower, but um, he's going to do what he needs to do personally to to go out and, and yeah. try to get a win. You know, that was a hard fought game, and they just missed it by a kick. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah. so um, I'm going to take Iowa State. I think that they they've yeah. got their their sights still set on the Big Twelve and. Um, yeah, I, I, I wish I, I could have seen, um, West Virginia more this season, but I haven't really been able to, to watch a whole lot of them. Yeah. Um, but I, I like, I like the mentality of the team that Iowa State has at this point. Okay. Next one, Oregon is eight and a half point favorite at Cal. Uh, Cal's not, they're, they're just not very good this year. I'm surprised the spread is this low. I think Oregon definitely bounces back after the loss to Oregon State. Yeah, I think a lot and, of people might be kind of scared. You know, yeah. it's already gone up a, a, a point um, since we locked it in. Um, but I just, you got to think, like you said, that Oregon bounces back. Yeah. Um, I like Cal, Oregon up to 12. Yeah, Cal is not good. Um I think that Oregon, you know, their defense, they've got to fix the problems on defense. Mm-hmm. They've been recruiting as well as anybody in the country on defense, and they've got the players. They're going to have so many guys drafted out of this defense. And will they be able to look back at this team and say, we did enough, you know? Yeah. And at this point, no, they haven't. Um, and some of that could be a product of not having a, a off season. Um, we've said it time and time again, defense is the hardest uh, side of the ball to to figure out and to get implemented and so when you get a lot of those players yes they're talented but some of them are pretty young yeah um i mean Kayvon Thibodeau is still a sophomore um and then Sewell Penny Sewell's brother he's real young um you taking Oregon yeah I'm uh, taking I'm Oregon, take Oregon I think they turn it back around okay next one uh Texas yeah make sure I had the right graphic seven and a half point favorite at Kansas State I know I dog on Texas and everything, but Kansas State, since they lost Skylar Thompson, is just they're just not very yeah. good. So I would take Texas to cover seven and a half. Well, and they they had Will Howard in there. Um, he was the one, the freshman that came in and replaced Skylar Howard. He has since been replaced, um, and it's just not looking pretty for Kansas State. I mean, one of the teams that that in the beginning of the year you thought, oh, they looked great they, before they were, Skylar Thompson. Yeah, they they were on track with. Iowa State to be in that Big 12 championship game, and now yep. um, they just they lost it. I mean, Kleiman's still a heck of a coach, um, but I don't know. I, I think, you know, Texas did just lose um, their best uh, offensive lineman, Cosme. Mm-hmm. Um, he just, he said with two games left, he's going to opt out and prepare for the draft. So yep. does that play a, a role in this? Usually Kansas State has some good, I think their interior defensive line is pretty solid. Yeah. Um, but man, seven and a half. I don't know. Kansas State's just, they're, they're in trouble right now. I mean, they're, to not even score a point this last week, that's just kind of... Yeah. I don't know. That that does it for me. So I'll take, yeah, I'll take, take up to like 10 points on that. Okay. Next one, one of the two biggest games of this week that everybody should be watching. Liberty is at Coastal Carolina, and Coastal Carolina is a six-point favorite. Give me Liberty. Give you Liberty. I think Coastal Liberty. Carolina's Cinderella season comes to a halt this really? week. Really? Yes, I do. I think Liberty outright wins the game. So... Coastal Carolina is 7-1-1 one, one against the spread overall, and they are 3-1-1 one, one at home. Liberty is 8-2 and two overall against the spread, and they are 4-0 and oh away. So they're playing really good on the road. Um, I mean, their only loss is a one-point loss. Right, and that, that six-point spread just seems like a lot. So even if they don't win the game, they could be within – yeah, three points, but this will be a game everybody wants to watch. And man, yeah. it, it it is. I mean, mark this one down because it'll be good. Liberty yeah. is a fun team. I just recent, excuse me, I just recently started to kind of watch them a little bit more, and um, they're real fun. I mean, they they've got some playmakers on the offensive yep. side of the ball that are, that are just a blast to watch. Yep. So I'll take Liberty. Okay. I think it's a close game. Next game is Iowa is eleven and a half point favorite against Illinois. Iowa did not cover last week. Who did they play? I can't even remember. It was 26-20 was the final score. Um, and they should have 
anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, and as far as this game goes, I just think Iowa's a much better team than Illinois. Um, I mean, this could be a 10-point game, and then maybe they don't cover. But as far yeah. as this goes, I'm going to take Iowa to cover. Yeah, Iowa played um, Nebraska. That's Nebraska, right. Nebraska, that's right. Um, and Illinois' last game was Nebraska. At Nebraska, they won 41-23. to They beat mm-hmm. Rutgers 23-20. They lost to Minnesota, Purdue, uh, Wisconsin, Iowa. I mean, uh, Iowa has surprised. I think after that game against Nebraska, um, they may turn it around. And, and, and they've been just scoring a lot of yeah, points. So I think they had the ability to, and I think they will this week. I, I'll, take, I'll take Iowa. Iowa, okay. Next one, Tulsa is a 10-point favorite at Navy. Uh, and then Tulsa has Cincinnati after this game. Yeah. Um, 10, I, I don't know. 10 feels like a lot. Um I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with Navy in the points in this one. Um, let's see. Because don't forget about Tulsa. They were on their third-string quarterback the last time they played. Yeah, that's true. So, um, and they just went to double overtime in their last game against Tulane. Yeah. Um, Which Tulane's not a bad team. They're, they're, they're decent. Yeah, Navy's last three, they've lost 10-7 to against Memphis. They lost 51-37 to against SMU. And they lost uh, 37 to 21 against Houston. Um, two of those games being at home. They did beat ECU and Temple, um, who aren't as, who aren't great. Yeah. Um, I just like them to keep it close. Yeah, this is a, this is a tough one. Um, that third string quarterback deal that that kind of scares me. Um, man. No, I'll, I'll I'll stick with Tulsa. I'll go against okay. you on this one. Okay. Next a game. Lot of favorites today. Oregon State coming off their big upset win is at Utah. Utah is a nine and a half point favorite. I'm going to stick with the Beavers for a second week in a row. Yeah. Um, and so give me uh, Oregon State and the points in this one. I just I liked what I saw out of them watching yeah. that game. I thought they are much better than what they've been in, in years past. Um, they're solid on both sides of the ball. I mean, yeah, they did give up, you know, some, you know, 38 points to Oregon, but it's Oregon. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I like Oregon State. Yeah, um, I've got Oregon State down um, in Utah. <clears throat> they are they're favored by quite a bit. Oregon State's better this year than than they've been mm-hmm. um, in the past. Uh, it would be a lot of fun. Uh, there was a guy, Addison Gums, who originally started at OU. And then transferred to Oregon State, and it was just kind of, kind of bewildered a lot of us Sooner fans. Just you know, Oregon yeah. State. This kid was a, a fringe five-star uh, defensive lineman, and he goes to Oregon State. But obviously, they're building something yeah. there that, um, that just, I mean, went pound for pound with, uh, with Oregon. Yep. Um, that was a fun one to watch. But Utah, you know, they've. They've only had two games. They've lost them. Um, one being the USC. So yeah, and the other one was to Washington mm-hmm. um, at Washington. But Oregon State's been better this year than than we thought they were going to be. Utah's in a rebuilding. I'll take Oregon State. Okay. Next one is Stanford at Washington. Washington's a ten point favorite. I will take Washington to cover ten. Yeah, um, I like Stanford. Wash- got the like. They got the win against Cal last week, who was the favorite, two-point favorite, and Stanford won. But that it's kind of a game of two of the lower tier yeah. Pac-12 teams. So yeah, they were. I think both of those teams were going in 0 and yeah. one or o, e, yeah, yeah, I th- yeah. No, 0 and two. 0 and two. Both teams were going in 0 and two. Um, Washington, you know, their three games. They've they've won a close one against Utah. They beat Arizona 44 to 27. They beat Oregon State 27 to 21. Um, yeah, I'll take Stan- I'll, or not Stanford. I'll take Washington. Washington. Yeah. Okay. Uh, next game is UCLA at Arizona State. Arizona State is a four and a half point favorite. I like UCLA in this one. I've watched them twice this year. I like what I see in them. Yeah. Uh, they they've got an explosive offense. Um, and 
you know, Arizona State's no slouch. I, I get that, and they ha- and they play really good defense. But um, just something about UCLA this year yeah. was on my radar, so I got to well, take UCLA. And it, Arizona State's only had one game against yeah. UC or USC. Yeah. Um, Which was a close game. Yeah. So they they haven't played uh, since uh, November seventh. Yeah. So Man, that's that's, that's tough. Off. That's tough to have a, that long of a break. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'll take UCLA. Okay, next one. Colorado is a three and a half point favorite at Arizona, which surprises me that Arizona State is favored in that. Yeah. Well, okay. This one here, uh, Colorado and Arizona. Colorado a three and a half point favorite. Um, Kevin Sumlin's get gets his win this week. Arizona wins this game, so I will take Arizona. Hmm. They are on the verge. They're right there. They just need that little nudge over the hill, and I think they can do it. Yeah, Colorado's. Uh... I could never really get a beat on them. Uh, last year, you know, I picked, um, I'd pick against them. They'd, they'd win, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I'd, pick, I'd pick them to, to cover the spread. They wouldn't cover the spread. Um, this one's tough. A 3-0 and team against a 0-3 team. I'll stick with Colorado. Okay. Maryland at Michigan. Michigan is a five-point favorite. I... Michigan lost to Penn State last week. Yeah. Uh, Milton, uh, their all-everything five-star quarterback, is benched. I think that's all you need to know. Um, yeah. I, I'm taking Maryland. I'm not pick, picking Michigan anymore. I don't care if they are a five-point favorite. Um, no, not picking them anymore. Yeah, and their uh, McNamara uh, came in and threw 25 passes for 91 yards with a QBR of a whopping 30. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> um, Harbaugh-esque right there. <laughs> yeah. Um, they got the, the ability to rush the ball. Um, they're running for, let's see, they're running for 131 yards a game. So is Maryland. Um, man, this one's a tough one just because both teams just, I mean, Maryland, you know, they win. They they beat Penn State, who is terrible. They beat Minnesota, who's a, who's been up and down. Um, they lost to Northwestern, forty three to three, and they lost to Indiana, twenty seven eleven. But then Michigan is just. I mean, the fact that Harbaugh's still on staff over there, he's gone after this year. He's, he's got to be. I he's mean, gone. It, it may just be a respect thing that they're just letting him finish out the season. Yeah. Um, but I'll take Maryland. I'll take them to. I'll mix it up a little bit and and take a dog here. Okay. Uh, next one is Georgia Tech at NC State. NC State is a seven and a half point favorite. Um, NC State's a little bit kind of like all over the place. Yeah. Um, but they're home. I'm they going to take seven them at home. Wins. Yeah, I'm going to take them at home to cover seven and a half. Yeah. Um, I do want to see. Georgia Tech just beat Duke, who is two and seven, um, and Georgia Tech is still riding with uh, with Jeff Sims. Um, Sims' uh, touchdown to interception ratio is now even: eleven touchdowns and eleven interceptions. Um, it has slowed down since the beginning of the year, um, but I like NC State in this. Um, you know, they get the win against Liberty. They beat Florida State. They hung close with Miami. Scored 21 on uh, on UNC. I'll take them in this game. NC State? Yeah. Okay. Next one is Kansas at Texas Tech. Texas Tech is a 27-point favorite. only reason I put this game in there is we have a Texas Tech fan that's he watches every week, he comments every nice. week, and so we're going to throw this game in there for him. I uh, got your Red Raiders covering the 27. Yeah, wreck them. I got them too. Wreck them tech, yep. I don't know if you can see that. All right, South Carolina is at Kentucky. Kentucky is a 10.5 point favorite. Um, I don't like Kentucky covering 10.5, but I do like Kentucky winning the football game, so I'll take South Carolina in the points. Yeah, this is another tough one um, because South Carolina, I never really know yep. what they're going to do. Um, but... Kentucky Man, just is, struggles to put points on the board. Though. Yeah, and this is the only game I I didn't pick pre <laughs> us yeah. filming this. Um, let me 
just find it real quick. South Carolina, Kentucky. Um, what's the spread on it? Ten and, uh, a, half. Ten and a half. Man. Because both teams, I mean, they're, they're giving up quite a bit of points. South Carolina's giving up 35 points a game. Kentucky's giving up 27, and they're not scoring a lot. South Carolina's scoring 24 points a game compared to the 35 they're giving up. And Kentucky's scoring 19 compared to the 27 that they're giving up. Um, I mean, South, 19 points a game. Yeah. How do you cover 10 and a half when you're only scoring 19 points a game? Yeah, I I don't know. I really don't know about this one. Um, I mean, this is, a, this is tough. I mean, a 2 and 7 team against a 3 and 6 team. Um, I'm I'm gonna take it close here. I'll take South Carolina just yeah. just because I mean both teams just it, they're just yeah. not that great and I don't know. Okay. I'll just keep it a close game. All right, three more to go. Uh, Arkansas is at Missouri. Missouri is a three point favorite. As much as I love Arkansas, as much as I want to pick Arkansas, and as much as I want to see Arkansas win the game, Missouri is just really good at home. And look what they did last week at Vanderbilt. Yeah. And three points, I think, is nothing. Missouri easily covers three. Yeah, so last week, I'm just going to pull up my notes from last week because I had the same exact notes written for um, Vanderbilt and Missouri because uh, Vanderbilt was perfect on the road covering and Missouri was perfect at home covering against the spread. Uh, turn that around and Arkansas is perfect covering on the road. And, well, I, maybe they didn't cover against uh, Florida. Was that the one game that they didn't? Yeah, they didn't cover against Florida. Yeah. Because we both it. picked Arkansas in that one, and Florida just. Okay, yeah, 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 that's right. So, yeah. and, and Missouri's, I believe they're still perfect covering at home. Yeah. Um, so, I'm going to take Missouri. I, I, I was going to take them against Arkansas last week. Mm -hmm. Had the game been played, um, I'll take them again. All right, next one. Indiana at Wisconsin. Wisconsin is a 10-point favorite. Way too high of a spread for this one. I, I think Indiana outright wins the game. Oh, I do So, too. there's no way, even if Wisconsin wins, there's no way they win by more than 10. Yeah. So, I will take Indiana all day in this one. Yeah. Uh, this is one I would get in and jump in early. I mean, this I'll, I'll even say this is my lock. Yeah. Indiana, Wisconsin. I well, take. Wisconsin's last game was a loss to Northwestern. They did mm -hmm. beat Michigan 49-11. That's, that's nothing really to, yeah. to bat your eyes at. Um, they did beat Illinois 45-7. to um, And Indiana has just, I mean, they've, they've been, you know, kind of the talk of the Big Ten this year with, with Penix Jr. at quarterback. Mm -hmm. um, so I will definitely take Indiana. That's that's a huge spread. Huge. I would get my money on it now. Yep. Okay, last one. Alabama is 28.5 point favorite at LSU. Um, LSU has an offense, and I think LSU is going to be able to put some points up against Alabama's defense. I really do. But their defense, LSU's defense will probably give up 60 to 70 to Alabama. Yeah. So, But I feel like 28.5 is way too big on this one. I'm going to take LSU and the points. They don't win the game, but they they keep it within twenty eight and a half. Um, I mean LSU's they they don't have a, a really fun go these last two weeks. Um, actually, the past three weeks they played Texas A and M, Alabama, and Florida. Um, that Florida game being the postponed one from earlier, and this Alabama game was postponed from earlier. Um, man. This has just been a rough season for LSU. I'm going to take Alabama because it seems like any time I, I don't think that they're going to cover, they do. Yeah. Um, they definitely did this last week. Uh, they definitely did against Kentucky. And, I mean, they've just been on a roll. Like, yeah. I mean, you can easily say that they're one of the best teams in the country, yeah. uh, if not the best. So I think that they definitely cover. Okay. Uh, I just don't think LSU has enough. Um, to keep it, maybe they they play them tight for a half or something, but then in the third, fourth quarter, yeah. they kind of pull away. Um, I did see some stuff on, on OU as we were kind of talking. Um, so the Sooners didn't, the, the outbreak of COVID wasn't as bad as they originally thought. It's just the contact tracing kind of hit a few players. 
Um, so uh, they're obviously going to go all week. You know, we'll we'll find out definitely mm -hmm. Friday um, when their last testing is done. But um, yeah. they will they will restart practice this week um, okay. and just keep testing. And 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 it wasn't a whole lot of starters that would have been out for the game. Okay. Um, you know, I I won't name any names due to do you know yep. health. Give me, give me one or two locks this week. I'll give you mine. Indiana, Wisconsin. I got Indiana. That's my first lock. Second lock would be Oregon State at Utah. With Utah, the nine and a half, I'll take Oregon State. Those two are my locks. And if you want a third one, Liberty over Coastal Carolina. Yeah, I. Uh, which one did I say earlier that I felt really good about? Um, well, Indiana was one of them. Well, it was an earlier one that we picked. I don't remember. Maybe Florida, Tennessee. I, I think I yeah. feel really good about that one. Okay. That's it for week 14 picks. Week 14. Week, week, yeah. <laughs> week 14 picks. Um, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Like the video and always leave your comments. We'll get to those as much as we can. Thank you all for watching. We enjoy all of you and uh, our loyal fans. Florida and... got Kyle Pitts back. That's, that's okay. another reason. Yep. Okay, so. perfect. Uh, but that's it for week 14. Um, Thank you. We're getting into Christmas season. We wish all of you the best, and we'll see you for week 15. Take care.